Shalom and welcome to Mosat Torah. This year is entitled, If One Mistakenly Chas Hashem Marries Someone Who's Arayos, Prohibited Relationship, Unknowingly, Do You Need Again? So the case in Tzadi Dal and Ivamos, let's say a person goes ahead, married, and witnesses come and said, listen, your wife went away, they knew she went away, but we have horrible news, she died, they said she's gone. So he remarries, after the mourning process, he remarries, and then lo and behold, she shows up months later. What do we do? So he married, let's say, Stam, another woman that's not Arayos. I mean, the Arayos of man can marry multiple wives. So Rabbanim, we don't do it because of the kind of Rabbanim But let's say he married his wife's sister. So it's, a, it's of Arayo to marry a woman and her sister. Yeah, but he didn't do it intentionally, and he was told by witnesses that she's gone, so he married her sister. So when you marry a riot, the normal rule is, and this is codified in Evan Ezra Tedvav, when one marries a riot, prohibited relationship, it's a total mistake, there's no kedushin there. So since there was no kedushin halachically with one's wife's sister, there's no need for a get. There are some exceptions to the rule, but that's the basic halacha, that in kedushin tofs in a riot. There's no kedushin by a riot, so just nothing happened, just a horrible, horrible mistake. Shalom.